I seen somebody hustling. I seen a girl around my age hustling out there, and it was. Right. I just I seen all the money she was bringing in. I was like, I, I, wanted, to do it. I wanted to do it too. Okay. So that's how I got. So got it in my selling, hand and then I and then you end up using it. I, I, yeah I started doing I, I was rolling um coke with my weed it started from the Ooh, uh, Oolies yeah Tell me, um, what's your name? Maria. Tanya Serrano. I'm 34. I'll be 35 this August 1st. Okay. I yeah. have to say you are so pretty. Thank you. I appreciate um, that. Um, where are you from? Um, I was raised in Lynn, but I've been out here since I was a teenager, so basically. You've been out here in the streets? Well, no, no. I, I moved out here to Boston. Oh, you moved out to Boston? Yeah, and I met my daughter's father. You already know. So, yeah. I've been out here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, are you homeless? Um, yeah, I just became homeless um, when I came out of jail last week. The oh, program wow. gave up my bed. What were you in jail for, if you don't mind um, I caught a new case. Um, my, I was using my friend's car while he was in jail. He's going to hold him and I guess his mother reported was stolen. So. His, um, my boy had me use his car, like hold his car while he's in jail. Because uh -huh. he didn't want his mother to find out that he got arrested. So I've been holding his car for him. And then his mother reported it stolen and I got in trouble. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was one of them okie okay. dogs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Shit happens. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're out. That's, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, so, how long have you been homeless for, you said? Um, about a week and a couple days. Already. A week and a couple of yeah. days? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. But, but it's my choice. I got, I got family I can go to, but I'm not. It's your choice. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, what led you to the homelessness? Um, just losing my bed at the program. They, I come back to the program and they don't have my bed no more. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you were in a home, you were I was in a shelter? I, I was in a, a housing program. A housing program? Yeah. Okay, so they were going to get you in an apartment. They were going to get me my housing back and they gave up my bed. Oh, no. Yeah. Too bad it's like, talk to somebody that's, that, that's yeah, upper that, that, who yeah. might be able to Yeah, I just feel like I'll do that tip for tat. I feel like karma's a bitch and they'll get, they'll get theirs and um, I'll get mine as well by earning it. I heard that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Um, So what's your drug of choice? Um, Cocaine. Cocaine. Mm -hmm. How do you use it? Is it crack um, or? I sniff, sometimes smoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all good, yeah. girl. Um, what got you addicted, or who got you addicted to? Um, it was just, you know, family. Family? Yeah, family, but it's like runs in my family, my blood. I have a lot of addicts in my family, so I think I just picked it up that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, was it at a certain time that you, did you start um, using with any particular person? I, I think it was just that um, I seen somebody hustling. I seen a girl around my age hustling out there, and it was, right. I just, I seen all the money she was bringing in, and I was like, I, to do it too okay so that's how i got so got it in my selling, hand and then i and then you end up using it I, I, yeah i started doing I, I was rolling um coke with my weed it started from the Ooh, uh, oolies yeah you would do a oolies yeah. and then can we go back and i just want to ask like um what was life like in the early years growing up um it was good yeah did you um, have both parents in the house uh, no, I had my mother though. My mother was my dad and my mother. Okay. You know, she played both parts. Me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I, feel, I can relate to exactly. that definitely. Moms, mm -hmm. moms go hard. You yeah. Know? Do you have siblings? I have um, Yeah, I have um, three brothers and two sisters. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm the third girl. Do they know that you're homeless? Um, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I was just I was staying with my mother, but I could see I was coming in between. I was like. I was causing a lot of friction in the house. So I just left. Okay. Um, do you have any children? Yeah. How many kids? I got four kids. Four babies? Mm -hmm. How old? I got a 13-year-old, I got a 14-year-old, and then I got a 10-year-old, and then my son's three. Three? So I got three girls and one boy. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. It's got to be so precious. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're missing your babies. Of course. And I know they're missing you. Um, have you tried to get clean? Yeah, I've tried. Yeah, I, I, was, I was. I used to do brown. I stopped. I came, yeah, I, just, I, have, I haven't touched it since 
I've been out of jail, so. Okay. That's good. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying that's to keep good. that going, so. That's why I just gotta stay with myself right now. Because if I have a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to get back, drawn back into that. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Um, what have you lost due to drugs? Um, basically everything. <laughs> Except my dignity. <laughs> They've never been in the system, and I'm trying to keep it that way. That's why. That's good. You know what I'm saying? You keep them with family, because yeah. once the system gets in your mm -hmm. life, then they never I was out. I was born in the system, and my, I don't want my kids to be born in that. So I'm just trying to keep that. My, my kids, like, you know what I'm saying, with family, and trying to stay away until I can be clean and sober enough to be with them. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Or even be around them. Yes. You know what I mean? So. I hear you. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, what's the worst thing that you've seen out here? Um, nothing, nothing that bad yet. I've, I've seen, I've, I've, nothing, nothing that bad. Okay. Has anything bad happened to you out here? Not really. Man. I can't handle. No. Okay. Yeah. I heard that. That's good. Nothing I can handle. Mm -hmm. I nothing I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you personally ready to stop yet? Um, I, I would love to be able to, like, you know what I'm saying? The only way I can see myself stopping is if I get my crib and my kids back. Get in my house and my crib, and I'll be good. That's all I need. Okay, you know well, my, my next question was, do you have any goals and aspirations? And that will probably be the goals. Uh, yeah, right I want to get, I, I want to be able to, you know what I'm saying, take care of myself and not even depend on a man or, you know what I'm saying, the government or the system, because it, that could easily be taken from me. Right. It was taken from me, that's why I'm in the position I am now. They took my housing yeah. and made it market rent. Oh wow! That's why I've been out here since that day, since that shit happened to me. I got tough. Um, only a couple more questions. Um, if you could go back and change something, what would it be? Meeting my baby's dad. Oh really? Yeah. What was it like with him? It was just abuse, 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 abuse. abuse. He was very. All my girls are, yes. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But then that'll be the fucked up because I wouldn't have my daughters. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I could have had them with somebody else probably. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that wasn't abusive. Yeah. Abuse you feel what I'm saying? So hard. Like, if you got some, if you got a, if you got a girl that's not stepping out on you, that's home all day, taking care of your kids, making sure you got food up when you come home. If you don't like that, I have to chef something else up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not grateful. And not and. Come on, dude. I yeah. even said you could bring another chick home. Why you gotta be out there doing that shit? Right. So he was a it, cheater, I, cheater. I would. I, I could. I, like, for mines, I'll do anything for mines. So I, I would. I, I would. You know what I'm saying? Have to submit, and you know what I'm saying? Yep. I hear you. So compromise. You compromise. Man. You know what I'm saying? He's gotta be able to compromise. Exactly. It was both and ways. not be abusive, because that's mm -hmm. not okay ever for no man to put his hands on you. Or even talk to you anyway or treat you anyway. It's never okay. Exactly. You know? Never. And I feel like us having daughters, like, would you treat your daughters like that? Would you talk to them? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what fucks with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if, 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 if I hear it, if I hear it, if I see it, his ass is like, nah, that's not going to fight with me. I hear that. Um, what's rock bottom for you? Rock bottom is basically right now. This is it. What's the most important thing that you've learned being out here on the streets? Is that don't don't fake it till you make it and don't change for nobody. I heard that. Don't they, fake it they, till they, you make it. Don't don't let people try to make you something you're not. I came out here from Maria Tina Serrano, I'm gonna leave out here Maria Tina Serrano. I heard that. That's it. Uh -huh. say, say your name one more I time. I said Maria Tina Serrano. Maria. 
Well, Maria, thank you so much for your interview. I appreciate you. You are a beautiful woman. Thank you. You are too. And you have a lot of um, opportunities. Mm -hmm. Um, You have your babies, you know. Think about them. You'll get your apartment back. Mm -hmm. And I'm just I'm just praying for you. Thank that you. Everything turns out the way yeah. it's supposed to. You're such a beautiful you. woman. Thank I you. I see you doing great things. Thank you. I'm and trying. just know that this mm -hmm. is not it for you. I hope you know? not. <laughs> I want I you to think that. about that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, this ain't this ain't it, you know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. At least right. you see the worth of me when somebody got to see it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank All right. I appreciate it. Happy hug. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you.